Have you ever questioned what trazodone is and how it functions? Well, let's delve into the heart of the matter. Trazodone, a medication that's been around since the early 70s, falls under the category of drugs known as antidepressants. It's primarily used to treat major depressive disorder, but it's also known for its off-label uses such as anxiety disorders and insomnia. But how does it work, you might wonder? In essence, trazodone operates by interacting with the brain's chemical messengers, the neurotransmitters. Specifically, it targets serotonin, a neurotransmitter that plays a pivotal role in mood regulation. By inhibiting the reuptake or absorption of serotonin in the brain, trazodone allows more of this feel-good chemical to be available. This increase in serotonin levels helps to alleviate the symptoms of depression, promoting a sense of well-being and calm. So trazodone, an antidepressant, works by adjusting the balance of serotonin in the brain. But why is trazodone prescribed, you may ask? Well, let's dive into the diverse uses of this multifunctional medication. Trazodone, an antidepressant, is primarily prescribed for the treatment of major depressive disorder. It functions by altering the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, specifically serotonin, which plays a key role in mood regulation. By increasing the levels of serotonin, trazodone helps to elevate mood and alleviate the symptoms of depression, such as feelings of sadness, loss of interest in activities and concentration difficulties. But that's not all. Trazodone is also known for its off-label uses. Off-label simply means the drug is being used in a manner not specified in the approved packaging label. For instance, trazodone is often prescribed to manage insomnia. Its sedative effects make it an effective sleep aid, particularly for individuals who have trouble staying asleep throughout the night. Another off-label use of trazodone is for anxiety disorders. While it's not a first-line treatment, it can be beneficial for those with chronic anxiety who haven't found relief from other medications. Trazodone's versatility extends even further. It can be used in managing certain types of pain, and it's also been utilized in treating behavioral issues in dementia patients. However, its use in these areas is less common and requires careful consideration by a healthcare professional. Speaking of professionals, it's crucial to remember that trazodone should only be used under the direction of a healthcare provider. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution and its effectiveness varies from person to person. Your doctor will carefully consider your individual situation, including other medications you're taking and your overall health, before prescribing trazodone. So, while trazodone is a versatile medication with a range of uses, it's not a magic bullet. It's a tool in the toolbox of mental health treatment. And like any tool, it needs to be used correctly to be effective. Remember, trazodone should always be used as directed by a healthcare professional. Every medication has potential side effects, and trazodone is no exception. As we delve into the world of trazodone, it's important to remember that, like any medication, it comes with a list of potential side effects. Some of these are common, while others are more serious and require immediate medical attention. Firstly, let's discuss the physical side effects. Many people who take trazodone report feeling dizzy, especially when they first start taking the medication or when their dose is increased. This dizziness can sometimes lead to fainting, so it's important to be cautious when standing up or moving around. Dry mouth is another common side effect. While this may seem minor, it can lead to other issues such as tooth decay or gum disease if left untreated. Drinking plenty of water, chewing sugar-free gum, or using a saliva substitute can help alleviate this symptom. Constipation can also occur when taking trazodone. Eating a diet high in fiber, drinking plenty of water, and getting regular exercise can help prevent or relieve this side effect. Now, let's move on to the mental side effects. Some people may experience mood changes, such as feeling more depressed, anxious, or agitated. In rare cases, trazodone can cause suicidal thoughts. This is a serious side effect and requires immediate medical attention. It's important to note that these side effects are not experienced by everyone who takes trazodone. Your doctor will have considered the potential benefits and risks before prescribing this medication to you. However, if you do experience any of these side effects, it's crucial to communicate with your healthcare provider. They can provide guidance on how to manage these symptoms or adjust your medication if needed. In case of serious side effects such as suicidal thoughts or severe dizziness leading to falls, 
it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. Remember, your health and safety are paramount. So, while trazodone can be a beneficial medication for many, it's important to be aware of the potential side effects and to communicate openly with your healthcare provider. If you experience any severe side effects, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. Did you know that certain foods should be avoided when taking trazodone? That's right. What you eat and drink can have a significant impact on how this medication works for you, potentially exacerbating side effects or diminishing its effectiveness. So let's dive into some of the foods and beverages you should steer clear of while on trazodone. First in line is alcohol. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's a no-brainer, but it's crucial to understand why. Consuming alcohol while taking trazodone can intensify the drug's sedative effects, leading to increased drowsiness, slowed or difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, unconsciousness. It's also worth noting that alcohol can heighten feelings of depression, which can be counterproductive when you're taking trazodone to manage depressive symptoms. Next up, we have grapefruit and grapefruit products. Grapefruit, whether in the form of a fresh fruit, juice, or an ingredient in other foods, can interact with a large number of medications, including trazodone. This fruit affects the enzymes in your body that break down certain drugs, which can lead to higher levels of the medication in your bloodstream. This, in turn, increases your risk of experiencing side effects or even an overdose. But it's not just grapefruit and alcohol that you need to be cautious about. Other foods and beverages that can cause drowsiness, like those high in tryptophan or magnesium, should also be consumed in moderation. These include turkey, milk, and certain types of fish and nuts. And remember, it is not just about what foods to avoid, but also about maintaining a balanced diet. A healthy diet can help your body better manage the side effects of trazodone and improve your overall health. Lastly, always consult with your healthcare provider or a dietitian if you have questions about your diet while taking trazodone. They can provide personalized advice based on your health history and current medications. Remember, what you consume can significantly impact the effectiveness and side effects of trazodone. So, make informed decisions about your diet to ensure you're getting the most out of your treatment. Before we conclude, let's touch on some key precautions to keep in mind when taking trazodone. Firstly, it's crucial to remember that abruptly stopping trazodone can have serious consequences. This medication needs to be gradually reduced under the supervision of a healthcare professional to avoid withdrawal symptoms. If you're considering halting your trazodone intake, always consult with your doctor first. Secondly, trazodone can interact with other drugs, leading to potentially harmful effects. It's important to disclose any other medications you're taking, including over-the-counter drugs, supplements, and herbal products to your healthcare provider. Another critical precaution is the need for regular doctor visits. Monitoring your progress is a vital part of any treatment plan. Your doctor can adjust your dosage based on your response to the medication, and they can also keep an eye on potential side effects. Regular checkups also provide an opportunity to discuss any concerns or issues you might be experiencing. Now, let's recap some of our key takeaways from this video. Trazodone is a medication primarily used for treating depression. It can also be used for other conditions as directed by your healthcare provider. However, like any other medication, trazodone has potential side effects. These can range from mild symptoms like dizziness or dry mouth to more severe ones like low blood pressure or serotonin syndrome. Food can also impact how trazodone works in your body. Certain foods, such as grapefruit and grapefruit juice, can increase the level of trazodone in your blood, leading to increased side effects. Therefore, it's advised to avoid these foods while taking this medication. In conclusion, while trazodone can be a highly effective treatment for depression and other conditions, it must be used responsibly and under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Remember, your health is your responsibility and taking an active role in your treatment plan can significantly improve your journey to wellness.